Hi, I'm Willem Barzi from the British Blacklist, and today I'm joined by Cynthia K. McWilliams, who played Cynthia Gray in the Apple TV series, The Last Days of Ptolemy Gray. How are you doing? I'm doing lovely. Very good to meet you. Lovely to virtually meet you as well. Um, I guess I'll just get right into it and just say, yes. how did you prepare for this role, given the whole thing about going back in time and not being present where we are right now? I'd love sure, to know your sure. process. Sure. Um, I think no matter what, for me, the process is always, um, it starts with the page. So um, the uh, going into reading the work, learning about who am I based on what the writer is telling me about who I am. And then also what do all these other characters say about me? And I think in this particular case, obviously the lens um, through which we see Cynthia is almost singularly um, through Ptolemy's eyes and not only through his eyes, but through his memories. So that was the first place that I started in preparing. And then of course I the lovely, I had the pleasure of being able to read the book as well. So in reading the novel, I get to learn a lot more about Cynthia as who she was as a woman. And the fact that she was this unapologetic woman standing in her power and her voice that now we would call that woman a feminist or bisexual. And at the time she was just a woman who knew what she wanted and was not going to apologize for it. And I love um, that I got to learn about her both as a character and who she is with um, in Ptolemy's mind. So for me going in, it was really about the importance of making sure in those scenes where you know we me and Sam get to you know be together that we create something so visceral so powerful so electric that we would understand why he was the thing that was crystallized in his mind and that she um, and her power and her fierceness would be able to pierce through that fog of dementia and anchor him and pull him back into reality and and lovingly say there's more work for you to do here get it done almost it <laughs> <laughs> no, you definitely tear straight through. Like tears, I, can I say tears were running on my face? You made. Oh, you, you made can me say cry. it. You can say it. It's a safe place. <laughs> the vulnerability of a black man. Everyone's seeing it right here in front of them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to ask about the emotional vulnerability of yourself that you were able to show in this role. Um, what did you anchor to? What brought that out of you? Oh, I think, oh, and my, and my partner, you know, um, Sam is just so wonderful. He's such a fantastic actor. Um, as, as huge as he is, what, a, you know, as, as a, a icon of a performer as he is in a scene, in a moment, he really is such a great partner. He's there um, to listen and to be connected and to really um, show you who you are in a scene. Um, I I'm so grateful for the opportunity to have um, worked opposite of him because to, to work with him is really to be bettered by him. You just have to sit back and watch him. His instincts are incredible. His encyclopedic knowledge of um, film as a study, you know, how to work with the camera, how to work with text, how to work with your partner. Um, yeah, so honestly, I don't have to do anything other than rely on this beautiful text and lean into my partner and let the rest happen. Um, it really was effortless. It's like floating on water working with him. <laughs> the, the smile on your face is somewhat surprising just purely because um, this role has the emotional effect, like I said, of bringing tears, but it seems more celebratory in your eyes. Um, yeah. Could you speak on the celebration of, I guess, whatever made you smile during this role and this whole story? Yeah, I think so. I think because here's the thing. Yes, it is a it is a story of mortality and aging and death and the loss of one's mind, body, faculties. And that's all very sad. But what I think um, uh, I'm left with and what I think the story marks on me is the idea that even as we're decaying, as we're um, losing parts of ourselves every day, that we hold on to things. And what we hold on to is the great loves of our life, the father figures, the family, um, and, and, and the lessons that are passed down to us. Ptolemy has such a great sense of what's right and wrong. He has an integrity that um, lives beyond uh, you know, the, the death and the decaying of his memories. So for me, I think what's joyful about the project and the story is that it reminds us that um, much like Cynthia says to him when she sits down and I love this scene and she says, you can't lose me. And I love that because I think it's such a comment on really what life is. We will die and people will leave us, but there are things that will never leave us. And those are the things that matter and the things worth celebrating. So for me, it is, there's still a lot of joy. There's a lot of joy in the story. Thank you for adding that different tint to, uh, 
very, very emotionally compelling tale. Um, I just want to say thank you for the joy that you left us with in this performance. And I hope it lives long in our memory because it was amazing. Thank, thank you. you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you.